We kicked off December with a home game against Sunderland, who looked to be heading straight back to the Championship after seven straight defeats. Robbie Keane was about to heap more pressure on his former international manager Mick McCarthy, but it didn't all go our way. Green looks for Stead. And a free kick is awarded away of the Sunderland striker. Your body's committed to the box. Oh, what a tremendous strike! Dean Whitehead with a brilliant goal for Sunderland. And against the odds, the side who are bottom of the table have the lead. Well, goalkeepers just don't save them. It's got everything. It's moving all over the place. And the most important thing, it's got pace. Paul Robinson minding the other side of the goal. He's moved his feet quickly to try and get across. But it's the pace of the ball that's beaten him. A wonderful free kick. Now Terry again, back to Robbie Keane, well worked by Spurs, this is inviting, and it's 1-1. Mido levels it up for Spurs. It's a terrific ball in, but I think we'll see that it's Collins who loses Robbie Keane in the inside right channel. Very patient build-up from Spurs. Keane plays it in, he's in behind Collins, Collins comes into the central area, Keane's got time to get his head up. Perfect delivery between goalkeeper and last defender, and it's a simple tap-in. But it's only taken just over five minutes of the second half for Spurs to find the second. Well, it's the anticipation of Robbie Keane because he's anticipating that Mido's going to win the first ball. And Mido helped it into a horrible area for Sunderland to defend. Collins caught, I think Collins thinks Annick's going to come and take that cleanly. This might have been handball from Robbie Keane as he gets in behind Collins here. Well, it's appeared to brush his right hand, I don't think the referee can call that. Concern for Sunderland would surely have been that when Spurs got the second, the heads would go down. That hasn't happened. Bray Latalek! They've done it! Anthony Latalek for Sunderland! It's 2 2. Well, again, it comes from Andy Gray putting pressure on Dawson. What a good finish. One touch was enough as it comes forward. Gray leaning into Dawson is a miscontrol, but it sits beautifully there for Latalek. He's coming on to it, he's got a chance to have a look where the goalkeeper is. Back across the keeper, and he's found the inside of the far post. Remarkable stuff here. Collins, and it's from Titania, now Keane. Here comes Aaron Lennon, and he has got space to burst into. Robbie Keane looked to flick it beyond Breen, and it came off the hand of Gary Breen, and Spurs have a penalty kick. Now Breen has already been booked, so does he deem it as deliberate? And my first reaction, Bill was that it did hit his hand, but it was more ball to hand than anything else. Robbie Keane just dinks it up. I don't think that's deliberate handball there at all from Gary Breed. But Robbie Keane, who was about to be taken off by Martin Yolk, steps up to take the penalty. He earned the penalty kick. Oh, what a save! Ben Anik pulls out a world-class save to deny Robbie Keane. It's at the very top draw because it's a terrific penalty from Robbie Keane. The 11th corner for Spurs, Sunderland yet to have one. Carrick and Lennon go for the same ball, this is Michael Carrick! Michael Carrick's first goal for Spurs! They're back in front, 3-2 to Tottenham! Well, I think the problem is that Sunderland don't get out in the wide area when they're trying to push out. They don't get out in the wide area, nobody getting out in the left-back position. And it could have been Lennon or Carrick. Not convinced that Carrick's trying to score, they're trying to get that back across the face of goal. And it's just Fox Collins who's at the back post. A giant roar about White Hart Lane. Michael Carrick has won a pulsating match for Tottenham Hotspur. His first ever goal for the club ensures Martin Yold's best ever start to a Premiership season for Spurs.